Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Matibay students. Okay, let's <laughs> proceed to our last topic for this week. Ayan. Giving real, li wow. real life situations to illustrate fractions, decimals, and percent. Yan na. Real life situations. Yan, apply na natin tayo. sa real life situation. Uh, okay? Yung 1 to 3, apply natin sa real life ngayong module. 4. And we have two objectives. Okay, Yan. sayang na inalis nila yung jingle. Yung jingle, no? Sayang. Hmm. Isa yun sa pinaka-exciting uh -huh. na ginagawa nila. Okay, first is to give real life situations to illustrate fractions, decimals, and percent. Okay, second, to solve problems involving fractions, decimals, and percent. Yes, okay. Ayan. Ang teknik dyan, kapatid. Uh -oh. Okay, so we have percentages in real life percent is a part of our daily lives, whether shopping, yes. working, or playing sports. You abuse percentages, of course. Percentages are used in tests at schools so we can easily see whether a student has done well or not so well. Uh -huh. Doon na lang muna tayo sa shopping. Bibili ka ng kalahating kilo na karne. Uh, kahit, hindi, ka kahit hindi ka masyadong magaling sa math, kapag percent or shopping ang pinag-uusapan, tatalino ka. Dito. Yes, percentage ka. Ganun. Kapag sila yung 50% off, uy, sale. <laughs> <laughs> tatalino ang lahat talaga kapag nag-shopping. Yes. Ayan. And... That's all about. I present the rate of base. Yan na yan yung... Solving na ito. Ayan. Yes. Percent problems usually involve the application of equations called as the percentage formulas. Ito yung mga yun. Una, percentage or yung portion is the variable in the percentage formula that represents a part of the base. It is always in the same term of unit with the same Base. Okay, let's move on to base. When we say base, is the number that represents 100% or the total value of something or the whole thing. It is usually preceded by the work of in the given statement because it is being multiplied by, by the, rate. the rate. Ipapakita natin yan later on. And rate defines what part the percentage is the base. Nalala mo nung tinuturo ko yan. Uh -oh, oh, merong meaning si equal, yes. merong meaning si off, so Kung forth and so on. Kung paano babasahin yung equal sign? Yes. Ayan. So, ituturo ko yung teknik na yan sa kanila. Ituturo yes. natin, ma'am. Okay? Meron pa. And Ayan. we have the following percentage formula. But sorry to say, most especially, hindi, hindi ko po yan. Yes. Uh -oh. Go on uh -oh. with the Pinakita work. Pinakita namin yung sa module, pero gaya ng lagi namin sinasabi, go beyond your modules. Yes. And of course, dun tayo sa mas mapapadali tayo. Yes. Okay. okay. At dahil dyan, we have percentage is equal to rate times base. Rate is equal to percentage divided by base. And where base is equal to percentage all over rate. Kasi mas okay. hindi mo yan alam ma'am, alam go mo on ma with the problem, then malalaman mo yes. lang technique. Okay. Let's proceed with our bonggang pa techniques sa examples. examples. Okay. And let's go on with our module number 4, finding percentage. So number 1, what is 25% of 180? Diba? Ang dami-dami niyang percent na formula sa ating module. Pero kagaya ng sinabi namin ni Sir Jason, gagawin nating mas madali. Mag-go over tayo word per word. Yes, so, makinig ng maigi. For example, number one, what is 25% of 180? Kapag sinabi nating what, hindi natin alam. So, question mark. X. Tama? So, i-represent natin agad yan as X. Is. Kapag sinabi mo namang is, equal, equal sign po yan. And then, 25%, just copy, 25% of, kapag sinabi namang of, multiplication. multiplication. So, multiplication ng 180. So, meron na tayo ngayong equation. Since meron na tayong equation, pwede na natin siyang isolve. So, x now is equal to 25%. You can use your calculator. 25% percent, ayan, times 180. It is equal to 45. Final answer. Ganun lang kasimple. Again, go over with the words. Read between the lines. Ayun. Hindi For, ka gumamit ng formula. formula kasi sa formula, ma'am, Ano kaya ang base dito? Ano kaya ang rate dito? Ano yes. kaya ang percentage dito? Gumagano yes. ka pa? Hindi ka gumamit ng formula, pero nakuha mo yung tamang so, sagot. So, number two, find 150% of 30. Find. Hindi mo alam yun. Hindi mo alam. So, sulat mo ulit, X, 150% of, pag sinabing of, multiplication, tama? Mm -hmm. 30. 
So, ayusin mo siya. X times 150% is 150% X times 30. So, 150 times 30. Sorry. 150% times 30. It is equal to 45 ulit. 45 ulit. Again, hindi ka nag-come up sa formula, pero meron kang sagot. Last, number 3, 0.5%. So, 0.5% of, pag sinabing of is multiplication. Mami, ito lang muna. Ah. Baka mm -hmm. nagtataka ka. Ewa, ah, kung 100% of 30 is, of course, 30. 30. Oh, Tapos, 15. another 50%, oh. 50 ng 30 is 15. So, 30 plus 15 is 45. Oh, baka nalito kayo dun ha. Tinignan mo okay. kasi ako kanina eh. Kaya, Next, percent of, four, ano na yun? 0.5% of 500 is equal to what number? 0.5% oh. of multiplication ulit yan, 500. Is equal to what number? Hindi mo alam. So, x. x. Hahanapin so, natin. finding the value of x yes, yan. Yes, hahanapin natin ang value ni x. So, 0.5%, 05 Shift percent times 500 is equal to 2.5. Therefore, the value of your x or ang hinahanap mo dyan is 2.5. Yes, ganun lang po kadali. Okay, let's now move on to rate. Again, hindi po tayo gagamit ng formula. Follow the question. Yung question mismo ang gagawa ng equation at ahanapin natin ang x. Since yes. rate ang ating hinahanap, explain yung mga anak ng ating final answer ay laging in term of percent. percent. Okay? So, we have now 81 is what percent of 180? Kagaya nga ng sinabi ni Ma'am Tintin, go on with the question. The question ang gagawa ng ating equation. So, we have now 81. Yes. Kapag sinabi natin A is, is equal. Okay? Kapag sinabi natin what, is x percent of is multiplication 180. Uh, ayusin natin. We have now 81. But x percent times 180 is equal to 180 percent of x. We are looking for the value of x. So, let's divide both sides by 180 percent. 180 percent. Cancel yan. Ang natira ay x is equal to 81 all over 180%. Using our calculator, mga anak, meron tayo ngayong fraction yan. We have 81 all over 180. 81, sorry na. 81 all over 180%. Ito po yung percent equal to 45. 45. Okay, number of the day? 45. 45. Palaging 45 ang ating nahanap. Yes. Uh, since per rate ang ating hinahanap, I'm sorry. Lagi ng percent. This is percent. Yeah. Maliwanag, Ma'am Tintin. Yes. Next, what percent, what is X? Percent we have no percent of, of multiplication. 80. 80. Is is equal to 240. Aayusin uh, natin mga anak. X percent times 80 is... 80% percent x. x is equal to 240. 240. Let's divide both sides by 80%. 80% para ang natira ay x. x is equal to 240, 240 all over 80%. 80%. That's why our answer is equal to what? This is 240 and this at net ay, sorry sorry mga anak this is 240 <laughs> all over 80 joke lang po yun percent okay equal to 300 percent okay kapag ginawa natin in decimal yan 30 tama ay 3 lang bilogan mo na bilogan mo this is our again rate ang hinahanap kaya po a eh, percent siya yes. what part of 15 is 60 what is x Yes. Part is again percentage yes. yan kasi part partition siya so okay. percent of times 15 is equal is equal to 60. 60. Okay? So this is 15 percent, percent x, x is, is equal, equal to 60. 60. 
let's divide both sides by 15%. 15%. Okay, x now is equal to, using our calculator, we have 60. All over 15. 60 all over. 15%. 15% equal to 400%. For 400 yan, lalagyan natin ng percent. Kasi rate ang ating hinahanap. Ganun lang kadali mga anak. Hindi yes. tayo gumamit ng formula, pero meron tayong nakuhang sagot. Ayan, last part is our base. Uulitin na naman po natin, hindi natin gagamitin yung formula. We are going to read between the lines. So, yung, yung problem po ang mag-create ng kanyang sariling equation. 30% of what number is 50? So, 30% of what number of what number is 50? So, 30% divide times x is 30% x is equal to 50. Dahil ang x ang hinahanap mo, divide both sides by 30%. 30%. Cancelled, cancelled. X now is equal to 50 all over 30%. So, using our calculator, using our calculator, we have 50 all over 30%. Ang sagot natin ay 166.67 Tama po? Yes po. 166.67 Ma'am, bakit? Ano po yun? Ma'am, bakit po nawala yung percent? Ayan, nawala ang percent dahil base po ang ating pinag-uusapan. Yes. Base na po. So, this is our final answer. Okay, number two. One-fifth as much as what number is 40? So, one-fifth Kapag sinabi nating as much, multiplication. multiplication. Multiplication of what number, hindi natin alam. So, what number is 40? So, 1 fifth x is equal to 40. So, 1 fifth x is equal to 40. Since x na ang inahanap, divide both sides by 1 fifth. 1 fifth. Cancelled, cancelled. x now is equal to 40 all over 1 fifth. Kapag ganyan, meron siyang imaginary denominator of 1, inside, inside, outside, outside. X now is equal to 40 times 5. 200. 200. 1 times 1 is 1. one. Kahit huwag mo nang isulat, final answer is 200. Last, 80 is one third of what number? So, 80 is one third of what number? So, hindi natin alam, same process. 80 is equal to 1 third x. Divide both sides by 1 third. 1 third. Cancelled, cancelled. x now is equal to 80 all over 1 third. Meron siya ulit imaginary denominator of 1. Inside, inside, outside, outside. 80 times 3? 240. 240. 1 times 1? One. 1. Kahit mo nang isulat, final answer. So, that's it for module number 4. Thank you so much mga anak. I hope marami kayong natutunan. Laging tatandaan na tayong lahat ay matibay. Hashtag matibay. Students. Bye-bye.